Pumpable's liquid flanges are a combination flange setup that combines the structure of a hard plastic shell with a silicone insert that is attached to the duckbill valve. This allows the silicone insert to collapse around the nipple at Mariola. This can increase stimulation, increase the speed of milk removal, and if they fit you well, are known for being exceptionally comfortable. There are currently three similar versions of this product available on the market. Pumpable's liquid flanges, Horizon 3D flanges, and then the newest legendary fluid fit flanges. And knowing the difference in similarities will help you understand which product to look at. The manufacturer of these three products is the company Horizon, which is a Chinese breast pump manufacturer. They are sold under the name Horizon 3D flanges. Horizon also manufactures a modified version for the company Pumpables. These are modified to be more comfortable and effective, and this company is the intellectual property owner of these modifications. Legendary is a breastfeeding supplement company that is branched into pumping products and is selling a white label version of the Horizon 3D flanges under the trademark name here in the U.S. of Legendary Fluid Fit Flanges. So the basic kit for the Horizon 3D and Legendary Fluid Fit is identical. The Pumpables Liquid Fit Kit is modified, but parts are still cross-compatible. Pumpables is the one who's invested in the modifications and increasing sizing options, so I opt to refer to these products generically under the Pumpables name, as this is the version I find of work best and to be the highest quality product with the most access for the largest number of pumping parents. Pumpables liquid flanges replace the setup of the flange, bottle, and backflow protector and can be used with the Pumpables pumps or used with other standard breast pumps. These are often recommended for use when there is discomfort with plastic flanges despite proper sizing, to reduce pumping times, when there's difficulty emptying well with plastic flanges, or when we need to add additional stimulation for more effective pumping. These actually come in a small range of sizes, but it's increasing. There have been available in the options 17, 21, 25, and 29 for about the last year or so. And then recently, Pumpables launched the 15 millimeter in the last couple days and is about to launch the 19 millimeter at the time I'm recording this. The collapsing action of these flanges means sizing doesn't follow the typical recommendations for hard plastic flanges. My general rule of thumb is you should start with the flange closest to your base nipple size, but no smaller. So someone with a 17 millimeter nipple could try the 17, but some someone with an 18 millimeter nipple should move to the 21 to start. There is flexibility in sizing, and depending on how your unique tissue responds, you may find you prefer a different fit. These flanges have a low incidence of causing damage or swelling within reasonable sizing, which allows for safe experimentation. For most people with these flanges, you're going to be in the size closest to your base nipple size, but no smaller. But these flanges really aren't comparable at all to traditional flanges, so many of the rules there just don't apply with these. Changing the size of the tunnel changes where the tunnel collapses, how much it collapses, and how that plays with your breast anatomy. We may size up or down to achieve the needed modifications after observing how the tissue moves in your most common size. Despite my overwhelming love of these flanges, there are certainly issues to consider. The tunnel length is relatively short, meaning more elastic nipples that do not have the stretch reduced by the collapse may find they stretch to the back of the tunnel, reducing stimulation. The collapsing movement is key to the success of these flanges, and if your nipples swell, they will press back against the silicone, stopping that movement. They may simply not have a size to accommodate you at this time, or the size that accommodates your, your base nipple size may not feel good. It's also important to consider the cost of using these. The membranes and liquid inserts need frequent replacement, meaning of the specialty flanges, these are the most costly option.